Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. A barely audible uttering was an iconic phrase that became part of popular culture. Hey, we've got a problem here. Say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. The launch was routine. This was to be the third moon landing. And the mission commander, James Lovell, was on his fourth trip into space. And it was just after about 55 hours into this mission that the explosion occurred. OK, now let's everybody keep cool. We got an explosion in an oxygen tank destroyed the outer panels of the command module and shorted many of the intricate electronics keeping the craft in orbit. The idea of a moon landing was abandoned. The success of the mission was now to be measured by survival. The astronauts used the lunar model as a lifeboat, while dozens of scientists back at Mission Control worked out how to repair the systems, keep the astronauts alive, and get them back to Earth. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this, using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay, okay, let's build a filter. The world was transfixed by the drama taking place in space. Lord, your astronauts will come back safe. For a few days, all division was forgotten, as millions around the globe willed the astronauts a safe return home. And 50 years later, a new generation of astronauts inspired by lessons learned from the Apollo 13 mission. Members of NASA's Artemis program, which is designed to put a man and woman on the moon by 2024, followed by a mission to Mars. We learn more from our failures than we ever do from our successes. Up in space, astronauts on the International Space Station continue their work, remembering the Apollo 13 mission in a video conference and paying tribute to the scientists on Earth, striving to keep them safe in the face of a pandemic. It's changed the way that mission control operations uh, worked. Uh, they're actually doing handover uh, between shifts, between two different rooms to minimize the contact. Um, but yet, here they are persevering, and through their ingenuity and their professionalism, we're, they're going to return us to Earth safely, just like uh, their predecessors did 50 years ago. I think Apollo 13 was a, a very good example of always expecting the unexpected. When I saw the parachute streaming out and then blossom, I knew by this time that unless we sunk in the Pacific Ocean, we would be successful. A 50-year-old message that resonates in a world sheltering from pandemic. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.